What is up you guys? It's your favorite girl Amani Jelena and I'm back with another video for you guys. Before we get into this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up. Also, I will be having a profit blueprint webinar this upcoming January 20th so make sure you cop your tickets they'll be right below for you moving on to the purpose of this video this video is going to be about how to put together a photo shoot I always get tons, tons of comments more so on Instagram so if you're not following me on Instagram definitely do so because that's why I communicate with most of you guys and have like little one-on-ones and answer dms and all that good stuff I'll leave it tagged across the screen so when you are putting together a photo shoot there's five key components that you need to figure out prior to putting together a photo shoot. And the first thing is going to be a photographer. Finding a photographer is difficult but easy at the same time. The reason it can be easy is because you have this thing called the internet at your advantage. So utilize it as best of your ability. So some things I recommend when searching for a photographer is find someone locally. Find someone that is budget friendly. And if you have a hard time finding someone, you can always utilize Instagram. Use the hashtag option that is available and just search, for instance, I live in Chicago. So I would search Chicago. So I would search Chicago photographer. Or if I lived in Mississippi, I would search Mississippi photographers and then go through the list that they give you and figure out which photographer takes the best quality images that you prefer or which photographer has has the best image or theme that you're looking for because each photographer is a little bit different. Some photographer you some photographers use a lot of blue in their images and some photographers use a lot of orange or is more groggy so you definitely want to figure out which photographer best fits you and the image and the vibe that your uh, photo shoot is catered around don't settle on just one photographer do your research broaden your research by of course utilizing your social media sites to see which photographer best fits you another thing that you need to figure out when creating a photo shoot or putting together a photo shoot is studio space you need to figure out if studio space is included in the fee that your photographer gives you. Me, the, the photographers that I have worked with, they have a studio provided that I can go to and then I can, you know, put my props up and all that good stuff within their space. So I don't have to, I don't have to rent out a space to do so. Uh, so you definitely want to make sure that it's included in your price or if you're photographer has maybe like cheap deals that they can get you as far as like booking with a studio in your area but some some other things that you need to think about when it does come to studio space is if you're going to have your photo shoot indoors or outdoors um and the theme of your photo shoots if you're going to have a christmas themed or if you're going to have a new year's theme or um what's the next holiday or if you're going to have like a valentine's thing and so forth so you just need to figure out your theme figure out if the studio space is included and if it's not you then of course need to put another budget up front um, to see exactly where you want it the, the price on where you want it if you want it in your home because um, it's 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 very inexpensive to get photographer set up and maybe I should make a video on that where you can have your own little studio at home for under a hundred dollars so that's a really good idea to post on how you can have your home your own home studio and just uh, book with the photographers they come to your home you don't have to worry about studio space and all that good stuff the next big thing that you need to worry about is models you need to figure out are you going to have paid or unpaid models if your models are going to be friends and family and then you need to figure out an agreement that you and your models are going to have when it does come to models you can always find local models um or local people who want to model for free honestly you can do so just by putting something on your instagram like hey looking for um looking for models or models wanted and things like that and people will start rolling in and they'll even start tagging people which will give you free promo too so definitely figure out if you're gonna have paid or unpaid models figure out if they're friends or family and then agreements for them and when i say agreements your models need to understand their expectations you need to be able to verbally tell them what their expectations are and then they need to be able to commit to the agreement that you and them choose so definitely make sure you thoroughly go through the people who want to model for you uh, make sure they're equipped to do so make sure they have the look that you're going for and then make sure 
that they can deliver because in some cases you can hire a model and they'll think they'll say like they're this amazing model and things like that and once they get on set it's a complete fumble because they're nervous in front of the camera and um, when you're nervous in front of the camera that costs you more money because then it's longer to get the images and all that good stuff so you definitely want to make sure you thoroughly pick your models and then you and them have a set agreement on what's expected and what is not expected okay the next thing when setting up a photo shoot is hair this can be a little bit expensive um this option when it does come to a photo shoot because of course you're using your inventory and inventory costs you so you need to figure out how how you want to go around using your inventory are you going to use wigs where you can have a hairstylist put them put the wigs on and then remove the wigs and then of course you can then put those wigs back up for resale and things like that you need to figure out exactly how you want to do that or you can always Give them a bun some bundles and a closure, get it sewn in, and then of course like it's there, so that's kind of like their payment in the in a sense. You can do it that route. But those are just some options as far as the hair goes. But something else that you need to think about is the hairstylist. Hairstylists nowadays are expensive, okay? So you need to find a hairstylist that will work with you, work with your budget, work with how many models you're gonna have. And give you like a discounted price for using their service and having so many people uh, to do at one time. So that is a big one and that goes uh, goes the same as with the makeup artist. Um, of course finding a makeup artist that fits in your budget. In my opinion everyone knows or has a friend that is a bomb at makeup and things like that. And that and you can always go down that route if you want to be a little more inexpensive but still want to have quality and all of that good stuff. You need to network. You need to all of that to of course stay budget friendly I'm all about being budget friendly I am not about living above your means and all of that good stuff so definitely make sure you guys are doing your research definitely make sure you have your figures in order to see what you can afford what you can't afford how many models you can't afford how many models you can't afford what photographer you can afford what photographer you can't afford um, but still producing good quality at the same time now last but not least and the reason this is last because I don't think this is something that you should solely focus on when putting together a photo shoot but it is wardrobe wardrobe is important because of course you want your models to look good they look good you look good your business looks good and then of course money starts rolling in so when it does come to wardrobe I wouldn't put too much time into it when it comes to wardrobe for instance for a hair company or wardrobe for a cosmetic line you do not want the attention to be on what your model is wearing really you want it to be on their hair you want it to be on their lashes you want it to be on their face things like that so you don't want to take attention away from that um, so when you are thinking of wardrobe options think of the theme think of any props that you would want uh, you want to make sure of course everything color coordinates if your logo is pink you probably want to have something in the pink family in your photo shoot um if your colors are blue you probably want to have something uh that resembles your uh logo colors and themed colors in your photo shoot and same goes with pricing you want to stay in budget when it does come to buying everyone their wardrobe options me i personally like to use leotards they're super cheap they don't take away from the hair. It doesn't take away from the lashes. And they're cute. And there's so many different styles of leotards out there. So that is an option for you guys. But that is all I have for you guys regarding how to put, in to, how to put together a photo shoot. So I love, love, love each and every one of you. Don't forget... I will be having a profit blueprint webinar January 20th so many tickets have sold so thank you guys for that um, but I will hope to see you there so I love you don't forget to subscribe don't forget to thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video bye